So this is Delacroix's Christ of the Column from 1849. It shows us Christ um, prior to his execution. Traditionally, this would have uh, emphasized the soldiers around Christ torturing him. Delacroix instead decides to concentrate the image down, to boil it down to its essentials, the figure of Christ himself. And he offers us this um, poignant, psychologically haunting image of uh, Christ alone, Christ by himself, and asks us to emotionally engage with uh, Christ, to imagine what's going on in that man's mind. It's a remarkably uh, psychologically compelling take on a traditional subject. It's impossible to understand what is going on in the 19th century and even at the beginning of the 20th century without knowing Delacroix. And I think deeply that every important uh, gallery should have a substantive uh, collection of Delacroix. Delacroix is also one of the very important uh, renewer of religious art in the 19th century, but in his own way, and that is which is something which is absolutely visible in this Christ at the Column, which uh, we discovered as a long-term loan at the Metropolitan Museum in New York, and but belonging to an important New York collector who was uh, willing and uh, who agreed to sell it to us, which is of course, uh, uh, I think, absolutely great news.